In this problem, we're told a concrete highway is built of slabs 12 meters long at 20 degrees Celsius. How wide should the expansion cracks between the slabs be at 15 degrees Celsius to prevent buckling if the range in temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius? So what we're trying to find, right, is how basically how much of a gap we should leave. And so the way we're going to solve this is by finding the change in length. And so the first thing you need to know, the formula for change in length is going to be equal to alpha, which is the coefficient of linear expansion, multiplied by the initial length times the change in temperature. So first, let's just reason through this problem a bit. So we want to prevent buckling, right? So what we want to do is leave it enough room when it expands, right? When it heats up, it's going to expand, right? We don't want it to buckle. So we need to find how much it's going to change in its length, and that's basically how long of a gap we should leave. So basically, we're just going to find the change in length when it goes up in temperature. So now that we now that you know that, let's just go ahead and find the change in length. So let's just start with uh, finding all the variables. So alpha, coefficient of linear expansion, is different for every material. In this case, we're dealing with concrete. And so I'll just call uh, alpha C. It's just equal to 12 times 10 to the minus 6. And keep in mind the unit's inverse degrees Celsius. They tell us the initial length of the slab is 12 meters. So uh, the L, or L initial is 12 meters. And then we've got the change in temperature. So in this problem, we know it's going to be, uh, it says, between the slabs at 50 degrees Celsius. And so keep in mind, buckling is when it gets too long. So we don't have to worry about anything below it because it would just shrink. So we don't have to worry about buckling, right? That would only happen if the thing gets too big and then the gap, right? Like, let's say it got bigger than the gap, it would start to buckle. But yeah, so we don't have to worry about anything lower than that. So basically, the change in temperature we only have to worry about is from 15 to 50. So the change in temperature in this case is going to be 50 minus 15, which is 35. So change in temperature is just 35. And so now we've got everything we need. We just have to plug it in. So going ahead and doing this, alpha 12 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by L initial, which is 12, and then multiplied by the change in temperature, which is 35. So uh, go ahead and plug this in. So 12 times 10 to the minus 6, multiply that by 12, and then multiply this by 35. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get delta L equals 0 0.00504. And so keep in mind the units, this was in meters. Uh, this was in degrees Celsius, this was in inverse degrees Celsius, so these cancel, and then in meters, it's just going to be the change in length. So, 0 0.00504 meters. So, the change in length, right, this is going to be your answer, so you can convert to other units if you want. I'm just going to leave it like this, though. So, just 0 0.00504 meters, this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.